Okay, folks, Paul Chamberlain, the Air Force guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. We're going to talk to you today about the TAB 400. We're going to give you some, uh, updated, some inf updated information on this. For more information on this camper or any other camper, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul, the Air Force guy, check out my how-to videos. And if there's something that you'd like to see reviewed, by all means, just send me a message. Be more than happy to try to accommodate that request. But let's get on to this TAP 400. Now, obviously, this is the 2018. Now, the nice thing is I have this sitting right next to the, the little guy, Max, to kind of give you a perspective. But we're going to be talking to you about the, the TAP 400. But I'll step back and give you some uh, insight on that. So what you're going to have on this, they come in many different colors. This particular one is white and it has the black exterior trim. Now you can get them in silver as far as the exterior um, instead of white. And you have other colors for the exterior. Now up in the front here, this is where you're going to have your, your propane. This will be your propane and you can, it does not have enough room in here, folks, to put a second propane bottle. I know that has been a question that has been asked about, uh, but typically you would have seen a battery here to the, on my right, to the right of this bottle, but there's not room for uh, that. Now, what you have on the off door side here, folks, is going to be, you can see uh, two port windows. One's going to be for the bathroom, the other's uh, up in the front by the dinette. You can see your outside, the uh, square thing up here on the, on the front here is for your outside. That's your air conditioner, heat pump. Of course, you can see that you have, and by the way, I have it running, so it's, it is a very quiet uh, running AC. So you can see there also underneath there is for your sewage dump, for your black and gray, they're marked very nicely. Also, you're gonna notice you're gonna have four stabilizers, two up in the front on either corner, and then two in the rear as well. Gives you very, very good stabilization. And this does come with a black tank flush, folks, and that is awesome. Trust me, that is something you'd wanna have. Now, the outside shower here, the nice thing with that, Maybe, maybe the inside shower is a little bit too cramped for you, so you have something outside. But the other thing is because right below it here is where your uh, sewage dump is, it helps with the cleanup. Now right here, back behind the wheel, this is where you have your uh, water hose connection point or for your freshwater tank fill-up. Below that, that is where you're gonna have your cable connection. Some people on that cable connection, folks, some people will put an antenna so you can get local TV. Next thing is for your electric hookup. And then of course, this storage back here really isn't storage, but this behind this door, this is where you have your control for your Aldi system. And then of course you have the Aldi exhaust. And then this last part right back here, this is gonna be where you can store your sewer hose. So that is on the off door side. As you can see on the top right there, that is your antenna for the stereo, which is gonna be right back here by the bed, so it's in a nice location. You can see on this particular one, we have the, the two solar panels, it's a two 100 watt solar panels, that is an option on here. And of course you can see this uh, star gazing window back here by the bed. You can see how it slopes up, so that might be one of the main differences between that and the little guy Max. So you can see the two right there. Same colors, which, which is unique. Kind of give you an idea of what you're looking at. Let me show you. So as you can see, we have both of these back about the same now. Unfortunately, the tongue jack's up a little bit high on this. You can see that uh, little guy Max does sit back, sit down a little bit lower. But you can see the length difference Again, what you're looking at, they're both the same width. They're seven feet wide, but the difference is your uh, Tab 400 is 18 feet long. The Little Guy Max is 21 feet long. Now back behind your spare tire, uh, back behind the tire there, uh, that is where you're gonna have your outside storage, which I've shown many times before. Of course, you have your windows. Nice thing with these windows is that you can set it up where you can't see out or you can set it up with a screen so you can, but if you want to open the window for air, you're able to do that. 
The door here, of course, you can see you have your fire extinguisher. You've got this nice little cubby right here, which is great. You know, you know, you can go ahead and put some uh, some of the shopping, you know, your grocery bags in there. Use that for trash. You have the little screen for the window for privacy, as well as some other nice little cubbies that you have in the door. Now, of course, also you have is of course that's very nice and handy is the screen door so if the nice weather like we have currently you can have that look at how bright that led light is up top there folks see it's very very bright but let's take a look now i have this thing i have right now i have the air conditioning running but it is you're going to find it's going to be very very quiet in here I'm going to give you, I'm just going to close this door. kind of want to give you an idea of what you're looking at here. So now the height when you're in here, the height at the highest point you have six foot seven as far as the height. Your queen bed back in the back is 79 inches across by about 57 inches wide. Now the other thing is your dinette booth. Now one thing I was not aware of, I, I didn't even think about pulling the cushions back, but as you can see, if you pull the cushion back, it is back behind there a little bit. You see they have this built out. It has some uh, shelving on either side back in here. So you have shelving that's inside where that window, where you have the window here. So you have that storage there. So the, your measurement on the dinette is actually 74 inches across when you remove the cushions. And at this end, you're gonna be about 30 inches wide. And then of course you can see it, get, it gets wider as it goes across. So it kind of gives you a little bit different feel. So again, that dinette booth will be 74, and then like say 30 on the, on the um, narrow side. And of course it gets wider as it goes across. So hopefully that clears up some things. The other thing you have up in the front here, you can see this nice storage. And of course it has light up above, but on both sides, back in here, you'll have a, a speaker, stereo speaker, and, uh, and of course on the other side, you're also going to have another stereo speaker. You actually have, on the stereo in the back, you have three different settings. Now another question that was asked to me recently was about your air conditioner because you know the, the return is right here underneath the duct uh, underneath the dinette booth. Now in order to, to uh, clean the air filter for that, what you need to do is remove the seat cushions. Then you have the course the wood panel that's underneath that. You'll need to remove that to get to the air filter so you can clean that for the air conditioner. Now, of course, you can see the air conditioner is blowing towards the back here. It blows towards the side over there or to the back, however you want to have it going. And then, of course, in the back, you're going to have it by the bedroom. Let's go walk back here by the bedroom. You're going to have another AC duct up in the top there, up in the top corner. And you can direct that down on you or however you'd like to have that going. That's also a heat pump. Now, let's talk. So this is a look from the from the dinette perspective. See your counter. Now, of course, as you come in the door here, this is where your all your controls are going to be. So you're going to have your heating and air heating. Oh, well, actually, your air conditioning here, and you could also have the heat pump. And of course, you have you all your levels you can check here. Water pump, your lights in here. I mean, the ac accent light does it. You can see it does a phenomenal job. You can, you know, just have that on if you want to add in. Of course, you have the sink lights, which are up underneath. And of course, you have your Aldi system right here that you're able to set for your water heater and your and the furnaces. One other thing I failed to point out to you under this dinette booth is the fact that, and this does fold down to a bed though, but is that you have the 110 outlet under here along with the um, with the USB ports. So like I say, they have outlets everywhere you need them. Should be plentiful for you. So hopefully uh, kind of helps you. So let's get on to the next thing here. Talk about the bed back here. We'll take and then we'll go forward here. So you can see you have your AM FM CD stereo and that's a DVD player. 
So you have another speaker here, as well as above the kitchen. So each one has, um, they're set up. So the, the one above your kitchen should be your B speaker. The one back here should be A. And then the ones over the dinette booth will be your C speaker. Now you can see conveniently located there uh, for your uh, bed is your 110 outlet with the USB port. Now because this one has the option for the solar panel folks, you have the inverter and your 110 outlet for the inverter right here for the bed. So over there, if you know if you have CPAP or something else need to be running on 110 and you're out uh, dry camping, you're able to do that. Now, of course, you can see you have the, the counter extension for the kitchen, the TV back here, and that does pull out. And of course, you have more counter space up along there. You can see the nice lighting up underneath the cabinets as well as above the cabinet. Good counter space in here, folks. You see that, you know, both the sink and your cooktop have covers on them so when you're not using it that adds gives you additional um, counter space so you can have your two burner cooktop here which is nice and of course then your sink and look at how large that sink is i mean it's a very deep sink it's kind of hard to maybe see while you're you know looking through here but notice behind it you're going to have 110 outlets along with a, a, a 12 volt connection point then of course you're going to have storage up underneath here as well as you have a drawer here get my other hand now, i'll tell you they are they put them in very nicely you see you have storage underneath and look at how they make this cabin folks it, they do a phenomenal job i mean this is a very solid made coach you can hear it as i'm closing it now of course you can also see you have the door cold refrigerator now this is 110 as well as 12 volt so it gives you two different ways to operate that i'm going to have all the specs down below where it says show more so if you have any questions or you know you wonder what the different specs are i'll have those down there i'm also trying to incorporate some of the uh, questions that i get i'm trying to give you those answers uh, as well so this is your uh, closet see a nice nice storage and a nice bright light you have two settings on that and then of course down under here this is where you'll have access to like where your water pump is and uh, some of your um, water lines it's not for storage just for access to that now down below your cabinet there you're going to see you have your lp leak detector carbon monoxide detector as well as the brown thing that's going to be your converter as well as your breakers and fuses now, when we look at the bathroom here, as you can see, you're gonna have a mirror on the bathroom um, door. Opens up quite nicely. Now, the height in the shower, folks, this was another question, is six foot one at its highest point, which is right between the light there and your vent. So it's six foot one inch. As you can see, you have a curtain. Of course, the curtain's in the bag, but that goes around the entire, as you can take a look, it has a, shower curtain rod and it goes all the way around the whole thing here now the other thing you do is when when you have it storing it they have this nice little hook back here and that is where you would store it um, when you're not using it and of course you can see you have your uh, paper uh, your toilet paper holder which is protected so it's not going to get wet and then of course notice your sink So now, for the sink, as you can see, it's folded up. You just pull it, pull this down, and your sink is down. And of course, you can see. Of course, you have the toothbrush holders on either side. You do have a GFI resettable 110 plug up in the bathroom. Plenty of light, plenty of room, as you see. So that is the bathroom, folks. The one thing I failed to show you back here for the bedroom, for the bed, is the fact that these lights right here, you can see right now they're blue. Of course, you have the um, light that's behind, as you can see behind there. But what you're able to do with these lights is if you push and hold on the button, it gets to be a reading light. So then you can go ahead and adjust it to where you'd like to be watching. Push. Of course, 
shut it off. If you just push it easy, it just comes on in, in the blue, kind of like a little night light. So that's that particular one. The other thing you have in here is another light that's pretty amazing, and that's the one up here as you come in the doorway. Now it has a push button here, so the first one you push, it comes out blue. Then, as you can see, each time you push the button, it gets brighter. So there's three different settings. So that is that, folks. Of course, you can see the power vent fan in the roof. Nice thing with that power vent fan, you can have the wind, the air, you open a window or your door, and it's gonna pull the air out of here. Or you can go ahead and switch it and just have the air dumping in on you. So quite the, water the thing. So this is the information on the 2018 Tab 400. For more information on this particular uh, RV or any others, be sure if you call, if you email, or if you stop by, you ask for Paul the Air Force guy. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you again soon. Take care.